drag queen so I have to have amazing shoes and today I'm going to teach you how to make these exact shoes. Let's get started! So for supplies, you really don't need a ton. You need a tall, skanky stripper heel, preferably made out of vinyl or some sort of hard material. You're going to need a fabric glue. I got this expensive ass one from Hobby Lobby, but it works really nice. And then you're going to need some cute glitter. For me, I'm just doing simple black for these black shoes. Then you'll need a spray liqueur. What this does is basically sets the glitter at the end and it acts as a protective coat. And then after that, you just need a simple brush. All right, let's get started. All right, so first things first, you wanna get all of your shit out of the way because what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a piece of foil and we're gonna use just a shitty baking sheet. It's not very nice. I wouldn't suggest using a new one. So with this foil, we're gonna lay it down and that's gonna act as mostly a glitter catcher because you're going to go really heavy on the glitter and you want to make sure that you can save it at the end. My suggestion is really just doing one shoe on the tray at a time. It takes up enough space, glitter gets everywhere, and as you can see I tape mine closed because I'm not a maniac and I don't love spilling glitter everywhere. Also this glue is really really sticky so I would suggest keeping as many things off of the tray as you can at a time. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna spread a thin, even layer of glue on the bottom part of the shoe. Now, I would suggest using a lot of the glue. I wouldn't go too crazy. I know I'm giving you weird amounts, but be liberal, but don't. So pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this paintbrush and you're gonna spread it nice and even. I usually like to do little chunks at a time just so the glue is more manageable and it doesn't get all over the place. And definitely one thing to keep in mind is to not let it bubble or not let it ridge. Just keep it completely flat when you spread it on because at the end, if there's bubbles, it's going to show through your glitter and even through the spray liqueur. And I found one at the end of this video actually, so I'll show you how to poke those out whenever they happen. So as you can see, it's just kind of a nice, thin, easy amount. I would suggest doing it in smaller patches if it's your first time, just, just so the glue doesn't dry. It usually dries in about 60 seconds. So there's a good close look at it, every angle, showing the other camera that you'll never see. So what you're going to do next is you're going to grab your glitter and you're just going to dump. You're going to dump as much as you want. Remember that you're catching your glitter with the foil, so don't worry about wasting it. I would go super heavy, super liberal, and once we're done pouring, we're going to shake it off. So as you can see, I'm dumping, I'm dumping, I'm dumping. You want to use a lot of glitter. I'm so serious. And as you can see, a lot of it does fall off whenever you shake. So, so don't be afraid to really just dump the glitter. If you do run out, you can always pull everything off of your tray, dump it back into your container and start over. All right, we're shaking, shaking it off. And look at that. We've got a nice, even little coat. It looks super sparkly, super sexy, super draggy, and I love it. So I'm going to kind of speed it up here just so you can kind of see how I do it in fast motion. Now the process really is the same pretty much all the way around, but just repeating on the other side, here are a couple of tips to follow. First, make sure you're just being careful around the bottom of the shoe. Obviously you don't really want any glue on the bottom of it, you don't want to get any glitter on the bottom. It'll just fall off when you step on it anyways, but it's really more important towards the top. You don't want to get glitter or glue up on like the top part of your shoe. You want that part to go untouched. As you can see, perfect lines by me. Don't worry, I'll mess up later. Another tip that I might add in is kind of being heavier on the glue, heavier on the glitter near high traffic areas or high impact areas. Think whenever you're taking photos and you scrape your shoe on the bed or the floor or whatever, or if you're doing dancing or some kind of high intensity thing, you just want to make sure that you're being heavy on the glue near the edges towards the top of the shoe, but kind of where I'm working in the middle of the shoe, you don't have to be as conscious about using a bunch of glue. So now that you've seen me do part of the shoe, now it's going to get a little messy, and I definitely was a hot mess here. So when I was talking about using a lot of glue, 
you do need to be careful near the edges. As you can see, I'm starting to spill some over. I got some on the strap, some is running down the back side that you can't see yet, some ran down the front side. It was pretty much a mess. So definitely be glue conscious, but also make sure that you're getting it to stick. I know, it's a lot to manage, but you'll get it with practice. And if you do mess up, you don't really need to worry about it that much. Like I said, you have about 60 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and finish. I'm going to spread the glue around. Since I used a lot, I'm just going to cover all of that space. But once I do get to the end of this, I'm going to grab a paper towel. I'm going to clean up. I'm not going to worry about it. But like I said, if it is your first time, I would suggest just stopping where you're at, picking up a paper towel, and cleaning it off the shield. At the end of the day, it's really not the biggest deal if you get a little bit of glue on your straps or a little bit on the sole of the shoe. I would just make sure that you're not leaving large clumps. I would just make sure if anything's left, it's just little spots that'll clear up. All right, it is time to get out of this hot mess of a section. We're dumping this glitter on, we're speeding this video up, and now we're gonna take a look at the back of the heel. I'm gonna slow down the video and we're gonna go over that piece by piece, just because it's a little more challenging than the other parts of the heel. Our heel is looking super fab, super glittery, and I am in love. One thing that I would suggest though, before you finish all the way, just be sure to look out for any glue strings. Whenever you spray on the liqueur at the end, sometimes if there's strings, it can look weird with the glue, so that's something I would keep an eye on. Now I did say that the back of the heel is a little more challenging. That's mostly because of the shape. You wanna just be sure that when you're putting on your glue, you watch the amount that you put on, because it can tend to run down the heel, it'll go onto the back side of the heel, and since you've done the glitter up on the side of the shoe already, it can also run onto that, and that'll cause those bubbles that we were talking about. So you definitely wanna make sure you're watching your glue, going slow, and being careful. So as we're spreading on our glue nice and even, one spot I'm really bad at keeping track of is the top back of the heel. Now, you could consider that a high impact zone, so I would be sure to focus on that. Be sure to put a lot of glue there. And if you do miss it at the end, you can always touch it up. Also, at the bottom of the heel is a good place to put a lot of glue. You know, just in case you step in any textures like grass or on blankets or anything like that, that extra glue is gonna help your, your glitter hold up. Now always, always, always keep dumping that glitter. It's okay to just go for it, queen. It really is. The more glitter, actually, the better. For this shoe, it's black, so it's not really that big of a deal with black glitter on black shoe. But say you were doing a pink glitter on a clear shoe, or a red glitter on a black shoe, you would want as much glitter to stick as possible, because when you spray the liqueur, it pretty much is just going to seal it in, and you want it to seep in between the glitter and harden and coat. So that way it gives you the most coverage. If you don't have a lot of glitter on there, that liqueur is just going to dry clear and you're not really going to get any extra glitter coverage. So remember, always dump that glitter. Our shoes literally look like a million dollars right now. I am so in love. And speaking of a million dollars, Pleaser charges like $80 for a pair of glittery sparkle shoes like this. I got these on Poshmark for $8, and I got the crafts for like maybe $15. So you're saving over $50, bucks, and that's perfect for the queen on a budget. Alright, so the last spot we have to get arguably is the hardest one. So it's the bottom back of the heel and that odd little ridge where the heel meets the main part of the shoe. So what you don't want to do is knock over your glue and get it stuck to the foil like I did. You want to use a light amount of glue, or medium amount of glue if you've done this before, or used this glue before, and you kind of want to just dab it around. Obviously we've done all the other sides of the heel, so you don't want your glue to run over because it's going to cause bubbles or ridges and you're going to have to press them down and it's going to be a pain. So just go lighter on the glue for now and lightly do the edges. You can touch up any spots that you might have missed on the bottom of the heel, and then we're going to dump our glitter.
this is a bit of an awkward angle to have to pour the glitter, so rotate your shoe as many times as you have to, get in as many weird positions as you have to, and just dump a ton of glitter. It's going to be hard to cover all of it dumping from one spot, so just rotate it as many times as you want, shake it off as many times as you want to see what you need to cover, and just make sure that you get it all covered. Alright, so we gave it one last little shake, getting the little blue strands off, and now we're going to take a look at our product. Look how amazing these shoes look. Literally 10 minutes, and you have a gorgeous custom glitter shoe. You really can't beat it. Right now is the perfect opportunity to kind of look over your shoe one last time. I mentioned those glue strings around, look around, get them off of your shoe. You don't want them drying with the liqueur. It's also a good time to check around the edges, make sure there's not any glue on top, not any weird glitter on the bottom, and you can just dust off your shoe in general. Remember earlier when I mentioned one of those bubbles? I found one on the front of my shoe. Generally you can see it just kind of sticking up. It looks similar to like a bubble that would be on a sticker whenever you put it down. All you want to do is just gently press down like I did, and it should just flatten out into the shoe. Now that we've kind of gone step by step and gone slowly, we're going to speed it up, I'm going to do the right shoe, and we're going to take a look at some other angles that might be important to you. If you have any additional questions, or you want to know where I got something, or other tips, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. So throughout this little sped up process, I'm going to be throwing in angles like this where it kind of shows you a little bit of a different perspective than above. It shows you just my brushing technique, glitter dumping technique, not that there's really one to that at all, but it's just another perspective and I think it's helpful. Remember queens, don't forget to pick off those big old glue strings from your shoe. I can see a massive one hanging between my heel and the sole of the shoe. Definitely don't forget to pick those. This shoe was definitely a lot less of a mess, but I'm not perfect, so be sure to keep those paper towels nearby. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, and yeah, like I said, keep those paper towels nearby. I promise I'll shut up for a second after I mention it one more time, just to check the edges of your toes. Don't get any glue up there. It's just not going to look good, there's going to be glitter stuck to it, and if it dries you're going to be picking it off later and it's going to be a pain, so just be watching out for that. Alright, we're going to shake the shit out of our shoes, get all of that glitter off of there, and they're ready to be the cord. Your paintbrush is pretty much just done, so throw that away. Another thing you're going to want to do is wipe off the lid of the glue. That stuff is really sticky, really messy, and your cap won't fit. Trust me, I learned from experience. We used an absolute ass load of glitter, and since we put that foil down, we get to save it. It's pretty much an easy process. You just fold your foil up in half, hot dog, hamburger, whatever you like to eat at a cookout, and you kind of hold it like a taco, and you just dump it into your glitter container. Easy as that. Mm -hmm. 
now it's time for the fun part. We get to spray liqueur on our shoes. So like I said, this pretty much just makes like a gluish coating. It seeps in between the glitter and it helps it stick together a little better. You're gonna wanna shake the shit out of it, just like you do your shoes, and you'll do one at a time. I will give you a fair warning that this stuff smells pretty bad. It's not quite as bad as spray paint, but it smells pretty bad. So I would suggest wearing a mask or doing it in a ventilated area. And don't be like me and do it with all the doors and windows shut. So there's not really a rhyme or reason to doing this. You really just want to spray a thick coat all around the shoe. You definitely want to focus on those, those high touch areas like the edges of the shoes, the front of the shoe where the toes are, and the bottom of the heel. You can see when I'm spraying, it kind of makes like a whitish, puddleish look. That's kind of what you want to look for. You want it to spray on nice and thick, and you want it to provide a lot of protection for your shoe. I wouldn't typically suggest doing two coats, but if you do tend to spray light the first time, if you're just getting used to it, feel free to go back in with a second coat. It's not going to do any damage, it's only going to provide more hold. Well, queens, that's pretty much it. All you have to do now is spray the other shoe, let them dry for 24 hours, and you've got the cutest heels in the game. Don't forget to follow me on Insta where you can see my cute looks, finished projects, or you can just stop by and say hi. I'm at BellSkyOfficial. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date on my projects, my new looks, and of course, my great tutorials. Thanks for watching.